In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up coupons and other promotions using your WooCommerce store. Now, in order to access the coupons or the promotions section, we're going to hover over WooCommerce and we're going to click on coupons. This is going to bring up our coupon interface. You can learn more and that's going to open up the WooCommerce documentation or we can jump right in and click on add coupon. So the first thing is we're going to add in a coupon code and this is essentially this is the code that they're going to enter in when they want to use this coupon so let's say that we're going to have a christmas sale and we're going to be offering 25 percent off so we could do something like christmas 25 So we could have a 25% off discount for the Christmas holidays or whichever holiday you prefer. And so we add in the coupon name, which is what their Christmas 25, which is what they're gonna enter in when they wanna use it. We can enter in a description and this is what they're gonna be shown when that coupon is applied. And then we enter in the coupon data. So the discount type can either be a percentage discount, which we're gonna do at 25%. It can also be a fixed cart discount, so a total amount off the cart, or it can be a fixed product discount, which be an X amount off of a specific product. We're gonna do a percentage discount, and then under coupon amount, we're gonna type in 25. So for coupon amount, if I type in 25 here, it's gonna be 25%. If I did a fixed cart or fixed product discount, it would actually be the dollar amount or the currency amount. So right now this is for 25%. And if we also want this coupon to apply free shipping to their order, we can check this box. We can put in an optional expiration date here by just selecting the date from our calendar. And then we can click on usage restrictions and this allows us to do a lot of different things. It allows us to require them to spend a certain amount to get the discount spend a maximum amount to get the discount. So it's only under certain amount of order, or uh, uh, under a certain total for the cart. We can select individual use only, which means it can't be used with any other coupon. We can have this option exclude any item that's on sale. So when we're creating a product, we have a main product price and we have an optional sales price. And if we enter in a sales price, this coupon won't be able to be used on those products if we've checked this box. Then you can select certain products that it can be used on or exclude certain products that it can't be used on. And the same thing with categories. And you can also restrict it by email address. And our last item is usage limits. So we can limit a per, a per coupon usage. We can limit usage for a certain amount of items or we can use, uh, limit the usage per user. And all of that can be entered in here. Once we put all that information in, we click publish and now our coupon can be used on the front end and users while they're going through checkout are gonna have an option to enter in a coupon code and they can enter in that coupon and get the promotion. So that's it for coupons, it's pretty easy. The one thing also to mention is that in our reporting, we also have some great reporting data on our coupon usage so we can track how effective different promotions have been. Go ahead and check out the next series of videos where we're going to start talking about creating the different kinds of products and how we get those set up in our store.